known by many names, such as Lower Third, CG, or Jenny, the title graphic is an essential graphic that identifies who's speaking in your video. Photoshop offers several flexible design options for creating very attractive graphics. Let's see how we can create and customize our own Lower Third titles. Let's go ahead and create a new Lower Third from scratch for use in a video. I'll choose File New to create a new document. And then from my Film and Video preset, I'll pick a size that matches my current tape format. In this case, let's go with NTSC D1 for use in broadcast. I'll go ahead and click OK to create the new document. And Photoshop automatically creates a new document and adds these guidelines for indicating the safe title and action safe areas. All of our text is going to need to fall inside this inner box. Now, if you want a more dramatic safe title overlay, you can go to your Actions palette. And if you've loaded the video actions from the sub palette menu here, you could then go ahead and choose the title safe overlay action and press play. And this will create a clearer title safe overlay. There we go. And let's go ahead and minimize the action palette here. I'm going to add a photo into this document for reference purposes only. This photo will help me make better judgments about the transparency within the document. I'll just take this one that I have open and drop that in. There we go. And this is just being used because it offers a good use of a person and some colors that would be in a real video scene. We can reposition that a little bit if necessary. There we go. All right. The first step to the lower third tends to be a bar to contain the information. I'm going to create a new layer by clicking the Create a New Layer button. I'll then take the rectangular marquee and draw a box where the lower third bar will live. There we go. Let's select our gradient tool. It's over here in the toolbox. And by default, a gradient loads. Now, black to white is not going to really work for me, so let's click on that and we'll pick some colors. If you want, you can choose from several different samples that are loaded here. For example, here's the noise samples. And I like this red one. Now, I'm going to darken this down a little bit, so I'll drag these sliders so it doesn't use as intensive reds. And we'll limit the greens and the blues. We can click Randomize to create new options, and I think that one's pretty nice. So let's go ahead and click OK. And now I can click and drag to create the gradient bar. Now that bar has a nice subtle texture of noise for the gradient. You can also choose to use a gradual blend from one color to another. Now this bar needs to be softened just a little bit because this hard edge is going to be problematic. So let's go ahead and choose Filter Blur and I will apply a motion blur and we'll run this straight up and down on this graphic so the edge gets a little softer. Now that's a little too pronounced so let's try a value of say 5 pixels. Notice without and with that slight anti-aliasing to the bar will dramatically cut down on any flicker when this graphic is keyed over the video signal. Let's click OK. Now I'm a stickler for naming my layers so let's go ahead and clean things up here just a little bit. We'll put the photo down below and let's move this bar down below and name it colored bar. Next I'd like to add a layer mask to the bar so I'll go ahead and click on the layer mask icon and I will use a gradient to create a gradual blend. So let's select the gradient tool again and in this case I want the default gradient. So we'll go ahead here and we'll reset our gradients back to the defaults and I'll pick the black to white. Now with this selected we can now click and drag on the bar and you'll see that it does a gradual blend. Now in this case it went from transparent to opaque. Let's press undo. If I want it to go the other way, all I need to do is click the reverse button up at the top options bar here to reverse the gradient colors. And I can now click and drag to create a ramped transparency effect, which is desirable. 